Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to Emily's Paper Caper. I love to scrapbook, junk journal, rubber stamp, and make cards. Today I am working with the layout I did for day 26 of 30 days of sketches. I designed this page to have an interactive element. I put the zoo map here. And when this is put into the page protector, I want people to be able to still fold out that map. So when I initially did this page, I promised to come on and do a video showing how I accomplished this. Let's put this in the page protector. I, I've got the three ring binder holes here on the right hand side because I want people to be able to on the left hand side unfold this map. So I have a dry erase marker here. These will mark on there and then come right off. And I know that my map folds out like this. So I want to leave, I want to leave some page protector on top, but I want to cut the page protector so that somebody can still get in to pull that out. So we're just gonna make a mark like that. We're gonna put our cutting mat inside. And then you can see where I need to cut. Now we're going to get rid of the dry erase. Take that cutting mat out. And then when somebody's going through this album, they can get in here. See the map of the zoo. They can fold it back up, put it right there. Now, just to make it Obvious, more obvious that it's interactive, I can put a little tab here. So that people know they can get in there. So it would look like this. Let me know if you have any questions about this. I love making interactive elements on my pages and using ephemera like pamphlets and maps. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting everyone.